Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. On today's video is what if Naruto had a Russian style? So one day while Naruto is in the force of death, he falls into a random volcano. Now the volcano is hidden inside of the force of death, so no one actually knows that it's there. And this is when Naruto will fall down into the volcano and fall all the way down to the bottom through the lava and everything. When Naruto comes out, he is granted a, a power called erosion. I mean, eruption style. And Naruto stayed down in this volcano for a while because he has no idea how to get up. So while down there, Naruto will start to train. As he as he will see that there is um a type of um underground training ground there with scrolls and everything. As he will read these scrolls and learn that anybody who falls into the lava and um survives get uh Keke Keke Ida, which is uh is is basically the advanced version of Keke Toda. Wait, Keke Mira. I don't know what it's called. Keke Ida though. So Naruto, so Naruto will learn that score on um, that eruption style is the com combination of score style and lava release. Well, um, score release and lava release, I believe. <clears throat> so Naruto will be practicing some jutsus, and he will find some chakra control scrolls, and he will learn chakra control and will work out the volcano, and a completely new attire actually. And his hair will be um will be black and when he whenever he gets angry it turns red. So he was born blonde but his hair becomes black. So Naruto would end up going back after being he was down there for um like two years and everybody's been looking for him. So when Naruto steps out of the forest of death and walks is walking around the village. Everybody stares at him, asking, "Who is this?" As Naruto says, "They're not looking at me with hate." Why is that? As Naruto knows that his hair is different color, so he he will think that it would just take people a minute to realize. But he never noticed that his eyes were a different color too. His eyes became black. So we're gonna give him an ash gray type eyes. This is very beautiful. As Naruto will go to the academy. As he um but he will stop by his house first to pick up to um take a shower. As Naruto will now be heading to the academy right now and will come across some people where someone will recognize him and say demon. And they would go to attack Naruto. Naruto would say, "Eruption style." Nah, what was what was I gonna name that? I had it outside. I'm trying to think of what I was going to name it. It was he he hits them and their body just erupts, like just straight erupts. Like lava comes spewing out. And some Ambu were watching this. They're not watching Naruto because they don't know that it's Naruto. But they're watching someone. And they report this to the third Hokage. Which the third Hokage says. So you're telling me that this kid, this random kid just walked, um, was, is in the village. And we didn't know. But not only that, but some civilians tried to attack him. And he touched him and they erupted. And they erupted. Is the Ambu um, nod. It's like, that's not possible. It says, keep an eye on this kid. As the, um, as the clone of the Anbu would disappear. As the Anbu members are, it's just Kakashi. I'm gonna say Yamato, it's Kakashi and Yamato. As, um, as Naruto is now in the academy. Well, he's walking in now. So the um so Kakashi and them know to follow Naruto and they know exactly where he went. 
and they're um use they're enhancing their their hear their sight and their um hearing through with chakra. As Iruka will say, "Well, are you new here?" Naruto will say, "No." Iruka sense me. I'm not new here. As Naruto has matured a lot during that those past, I think I say years, two years, being down there. It's all the girls of school. As only, I want to say, I'm going to give him, I want to say two people recognize who this is. And Naruto sits in between these two people. And these two people are Hinata and Shikamaru. Shikamaru says, so Naruto, this is the new look. And Naruto says, new look. He says, yeah, your hair's different and so are your eyes. And Naruto says, my eyes, my eyes can't be different. And Naruto knows he's always had blue eyes and Shikamaru tells him to go to the restroom and look in the mirror. As Naruto would ask to go use the restroom, he would say yes. As Iruka would tell him yes, and Naruto would see it and would scream. Alerting the entire school. And Naruto would be screaming, my eyes! What happened? As he, as he will be in calm down, I'm like, it's probably just an effect from that my new style. <clears throat> as Naruto will then keep his cool and will go back to class. <clears throat> as Naruto was actually wearing something different. See, there is a, um, there is an armor there specifically meant to help the user um, to make sure that whenever they would use their eruption style it wouldn't harm them this is what this armor is for the one that well this this these clothes are for the ones that Naruto's wearing as Naruto will walk back into the class he will sit back next to Shikamaru Hinata and he will say my eyes what well, I didn't I didn't it must have been a side effect of my power. He says, your power? Naruto, I've been meaning to ask you, where the hell have you been for the past two years? As Naruto would say, well, it's kind of hard to explain. I'll show you. Shukumo says, fine. Says, when? Naruto says, after school? As Hinata says, as Hinata speaks up, says, Naruto, can I come see? Naruto says, sure. I don't see why not. As Naruto, um, Hinata, and Shikamaru would get through the day, as they will all leave together, and Naruto will go into the force to death, which the Anbu try to stop, but Naruto um, encases them in a in a um, in a um, we're just gonna say it's like kind of like a domain expansion. Like I don't even know what that is. I haven't finished Jujutsu Kaisen, but I know of the of the domain expansion. So they they're immediately surrounded by lava to them. So it's kind of like a genjutsu. Also, I don't really know how to put this. You know, it's, it's more of a space time ninjutsu. So they're like sent to a different place, but it, they're still in, inside. So I wouldn't really know how to describe it. But Naruto, Shikamaru, and Hinata would all walk past us. Naruto would give them to the, the directions. Is Naruto? Would then um, tell them, well, this is where I've been. It's, he almost said, Naruto, that's a volcano. Naruto says, I know. And Naruto undoes the transformations due to his Tikamaru and um, he not to see the giant scroll on Naruto's back. He says, Naruto, what is that scroll? He says, this is the scroll of all the Jutsus my, um, of my special, um, uh, my special ability. He says, oh. Is Naruto would then say, I'll meet you down here, but I don't think you two will want to jump in directly in. As Naruto will jump down and jump into the lava. They they could see the splash. As they see as Naruto say, Come on, jump down. As Naruto would start to stand on the lava. As this requires near perfect chakra control to do this. Because um uh, when whoever the lava chooses doesn't mean that the lava can't kill them, which is what happened to the last eruption style user. As Naruto has read this, because um, whatever the eruption style user 
any Russian style usage goes through is recorded into and automatically put into a scroll like a, a cloud of memories and stuff, which is how Naruto knows all the jutsus. As the first first eruption style user was really um actually came before the before Kage and um and um Hagoromo, which he only had the command of he it wasn't really a style he had the command of um volcanoes. Where this where um after Hagoromo beat Kage, this um eruption style person um after Hagoromo shared his chakra with everybody this eruption style person was a part of it. And got Chakra, which made eruption style. As he was the rival of um, Hakuromo, as they would have a battle, but it wouldn't be on Earth, so it wouldn't be recorded. It would be on Mars. As Mars was full of life, and he performed a certain jutsu which destroyed the planet and made it look the way it was, which it looks like an, a giant, it looks like Apocalypse, you know, from the DC Universe. I'll try and put a picture in. But Naruto. And, um, with, um, Naruto would tell them, come on, it's okay, I'll, I'll catch you. As Naruto would make two, two lava cones. As he would then, um, tell them to jump down. As Shikamaru and Hinata would trust Naruto. But they would still be scared because it's a, it's a long fall. Uh, fall. As, a, um, as they jump down and the lava cones catch them. And they walk them to the, um, little... To the little platform. Because Naruto says, well, I've been living here for the past two years. Training. You know, learned some jutsu. Also learned a forbidden technique. And this place is kind of advanced. Compared to the rest of the world. As the Russian style user is able to tell the different times. Like, they can, it's like, basically, knowledge over time through volcanoes. So Naruto would then um, tell, uh, show them where he trained at, like the exact place where he trained at, where he lived at, and everything. Uh, Shikamaru, he Naruto would be one, would be wild. And they would say, "Hey Naruto, um, I don't see exactly see a place out a way out of here." As Naruto would say, "Oh, you have to kind of use chakra control and walk up the up the side of the volcano until you're out." And Shikamaru and Hinata said, Naruto, that's not possible. And Naruto says, and Naruto says, oh, I guess they ain't teach that in the academy while I was gone. As <clears throat> Naruto would make two lava clones and they would carry Shikamaru and um, Hinata up as Naruto would join them. Because he can just basically walk up the lava. And would um he would then or he can walk up the side of the volcano because of the near near perfect chakra control because of the walking on lava and stuff. As Naruto would then say, "Well, as you see, this is where I've been at." As Naruto, as Sigmar says, Naruto, you didn't you showed us the kitchen. Where's what did you eat? As Naruto would say, "Well, it's stated that in one of my abilities, well, in this scroll that." The Russian style user um, can survive on eating lava and like volcanic ash and stuff. As Naruto would, be, um, as Shikamaru and Hinata would be shocked at this, as they would then leave. As Naruto would release the thing on, um, he would tell them to wait right here and make it look like they never left. As he would release whatever he did to Kakashi and Yamato, as they would be like. Well, as Naruto and them say, fine, we'll leave. As Kakashi and Yamato look up and notice that it's dark now. Say, like, what happened? And they have no recollection of the time that they've been gone. So it's basically like a brain injury to where there's, to them... No, no, nothing has passed. Like, um, into the, in their mind, a couple seconds has passed, but in real, in reality, it's been a couple hours. And their legs are extremely tired from just standing there for a couple hours. As Kakashi and Yamato collapse, as Naruto and um Shikamaru sees this, they carried Kakashi and Yamato 
out out to the village as they tell him tell them that these they just collapsed in front of them as some people will take Kakashi and Yamato to the hospital. Uh, Shikamaru and I would tell Naruto goodbye. Naruto would walk Hinata um, home. So after this, after Naruto will return to his apartment. <clears throat> as he would say. Well then. Yes, this was an eventful day. As he would um as he would get a jar out full of lava. As he would start to eat the lava. As he remembers well he's out of the volcano and he's always like Ichiraku Ramen. As he goes to Ichiraku Ramen to the stand, as they say. Oh hello sir. Um you look familiar. Who are you? Not to say, Oh man, it's me. He says Who are you? Who is me? It's me, Naruto. As um, I am able to run and hug him, he says, Naruto, the villagers have been looking for you. Well, they looked for you for a year and thought you were kidnapped and or maybe died. Naruto says, no. I've just been gone training for two years. I don't say. Well, you should have told somebody. Naruto said, it was kind of an unexpected training trip. But make I'll make sure to tell everybody next time before I leave. And um Tiuchi and I am able to give Naruto five bowl or we'll give him free ramen on the house. Naruto will eat the ramen and enjoy it. As um he will leave. And go back home and get a good night's rest. As the next day is um is the an exam kind of it's basically the graduation exam except they're not going to graduate from this exam that won't be coming for ne- for like three more years so at the time Naruto went into the volcano he was eight now he's ten so they won't graduate for like, well or he's nine so they won't graduate to twelve or thirteen so tomorrow's the exam is they would do a ninju to or they would basically do what they gr- do in the graduation exam, and they would add a portion called the ninja two, where they would show where people um would show them a ninja two that they can do. As um Naruto would do, get to it would get to the shadow clone part where Yuruku would say, "Hey, you never told me yesterday what was your name, Naruto." He would say, "Oh, I'm Naruto, Naruto Uzumaki." As Yuruku will run up and hug Naruto, he says, you really worried me. But where have you been? As Naruto says, I kind of went on an unexpected training trip. He says, unexpected. He says, not now, Yuruku sensei. I'll tell you one day. So Yuruku will say, does the Hokage know you're back? He says, no. He says, he's been worried sick about you, Naruto. We had a funeral and everything for you. He says, really? He says, well... Only me, um, Kakashi, Sasuke, we, um, some of the Uchiha, and um, and some of the Yuga came. Well, and um, the Jiraiya of the Sani, for some reason, I will just say those all these people care about me. But he wouldn't say the whole village. He would just say those people care about him. As Yuruku would say, well, Naruto, so what's your clone jutsu? As Naruto would say, would do hand signs. As Yuruku would not know what these hand signs are. Naruto would say, eruption style, lava clone jutsu. As a vet, a lava would appear and and out of, and it would form a clone. As this clone is very durable because it's basically lava. So if, so it it can't be it can only be dispelled. And it's basically like the Shadow Clone, so it can do what the Shadow Clones can do. Like gather information and stuff, and help with training. As Riku would say, Naruto, what did you say this was? He says, well, it's a, um, a Russian style Lava Clone? Russian style Naruto, what is that? As Riku, Naruto would say, it's too much to explain right now. 
as they will move on to the ninjutsu portion. Uh, Sasuke will do his fireball jutsu. And uh, we'll get, and everybody else will do their whatever ninjutsu they can do as Naruto. It would be up Naruto's turn. As Naruto will tell everybody, you might want to move back a couple. He says, everybody, we might want to leave here. As Yuku will say, why? He says, Naruto, it's a pretty big jutsu. And Yuku says, then don't do it. He says, but it's my weakest one. Yuku will say, where you want to go? As Naruto says, let's go to the Hokage. Um, the Hokage heads on top of to that part. And Zuku would do this, but he would send a sensei out to get um um Toby um not uh, Toby Roman he he was in, as he was in would uh run up to uh where they are as he would see watch Naruto from afar, and Naruto would just slam his hands on the ground says a Russian style, volcanic eruption. As a volcano would appear, it would spew out lava. As before, as the lava is about to hit the whole class of Naruto, then um places his hand back on the ground, and all the lava turns instantly into like um not ash, not um not volcanic ash. It will turn into ash, but not volcanic ash. As Riku will say, Naruto, that's a pretty strong jutsu. How did you learn that? As Naruto would say, it's kind of one of my special abilities. Yuku was saying, well, Naruto, you two, most of your scrolls, um, your scores, including near perfect chakra control, which we don't even know how that's possible. You're, um, besides your written exams, you're almost a t number, you're probably number two student. That's what Naruto was saying. Cool, I guess. As everybody would wonder, how could this random kid that just walked into class a couple um, like yesterday do pull off a jutsu like this? As tonight is the night of the Uchiha massacre. As Naruto here screaming. As he's connected to all the magma in Earth in the Earth's surface, and this magma is like a is it runs all around through the Earth. So Naruto can't hear, basically hear anything, so he threw the magnus. It's like how Zetsu can report stuff through the other Zetsu that are laid into the ground. That's what Naruto can do. As Naruto will wake up out of his sleep to go put on um, check what's going on. As he will see the Uchiha getting massacred. As he will see Itachi. As Naruto starts to run at Itachi. As Itachi just places Naruto on the Genjutsu, knocking him out. With Naruto's near perfect... Um, Chuck control. He will um, um, break out of the Genjutsu, but it's a, it was a bit powerful, so Naruto wouldn't wake up for a couple of days after powering out of it, or he would be un he would be knocked unconscious. It would take a lot of mental, it would do a lot of mental damage to him, so he won't recover fully until a couple of days later. And Sasuke is letting know that um, uh, Sasuke witnessed Itachi, but Sasuke is letting know that somebody tried to interfere and help. And helped out the Uchiha. As Sasuke asked, who was it? As they say, well, Naruto Uzumaki tried to help, but he was placed under a Genjutsu. We found him on, on, over it, on the site. And Sasuke would say, well, Naruto maybe... Hold up. So, after Sasuke learns that Naruto tried to help some Uchiha and, and was beat, beat by Itachi, Sasuke... Would walk out to go visit Naruto. And see, um, while Naruto was unconscious, he would thank Naruto. Saying, he tried to save his people. And Naruto actually managed to get one survivor out of there. And the survivor was actually Izumi. So Sasuke doesn't know this yet. Because Izumi wasn't really a part of the coup d'etat. But she was still, um,. Itachi wasn't going to be the one who killed her. Toby was. Or uh, Madara was. So, Naruto actually managed to save her. By encasing her in a um, dormant volcano. As it's still sitting there. As Naruto wakes up a couple days later. As he's kind of grouchy.
as Naruto would then be um, discharged from the hospital. So he will walk to the Uchiha, um, to the Uchiha um, compound. And he will see, he says, that must have been from my fight. And Naruto starts to have flashbacks of what Itachi what, um, was doing. And Naruto will see um, another volcano, as he would say. It doesn't look like it destroyed anything. What's As the memory will come back, he would say, oh my god, that girl. As Naruto would then um, touch the volcano as it would crumble. As Izumi would, would be there, almost dead, as Naruto would take her, run her to the hospital. As he would tell the um people at the hospital to not say a word about this for anybody because somebody might be trying to kill her not even to the Hokage as the um as the um nurses and doctors take her to a room as Sasuke was watching this and he sees that it's easily as um Sasuke runs down because he saw Naruto carry her in as he runs down to Naruto and that's Naruto. How did you get get her? As Naruto says, "Oh, uh, apparently during my fight, I managed to save someone from um that man who massacred the clan. You said it was your brother, right?" He says, "Yes." And Naruto says, "Apparently, I trapped her in one of my dormant volcanoes in one in a dormant volcano, so that she'll be protected." Naruto, uh, Sasuke will hug Naruto and say, thank you. The Uchiha clan are not dead. They have at least two survivors. As Naruto will say, it's okay. As Izumi has been put under a Genju too. And they, and she has, they really haven't, um, like, it hasn't been broken. So it would have been broken the moment she died. As it is constantly being, um... And it's constantly going on and on about her life with Itachi. And Naruto will tell Sasuke, Sasuke, he says yes. I want to tell you about the Uchiha massacre, Naruto will say. Well, I know you say it. He says no. Itachi was not the only one there. He says, what, what do you mean? He says, the person I saved that girl from was not Itachi. The person you describe, I did come across him, but... I saved that girl before I came across him. It was a man wearing an orange mask. No, no uh, he was wearing a mask with long hair. Sasuke will say, "Thank you, Naruto." Naruto says, "You probably have to investigate this on your own um, without the help of anybody, not even the Hokage." Sasuke asks why. He says, "Because um, in case." That there's a spy somewhere, and they f and he f and he has a spy somewhere in a leaf, and they figure out that you're snooping around. They might have try to have you killed too. And Sasuke will not. And Sasuke has made already as now is kind of befriending Naruto at this moment. So Sasuke and Naruto um will leave, um go into the room where Izumi is. They would they I was gonna say they will leave, but they're gonna go to the room where Izumi is. As Naruto walks watches over her, as his memories come back of how she was being held by some chains. As Naruto says, I wish I could help. As the doctors say that she's in her again, did not even they can break. Naruto knows a little bit his Genjutsu. He's good at Genjutsu. He's good at breaking Genjutsu since he has near perfect chakra control. As Naruto will place a head a hand on her head, as he will break as he would um force um force his chakra into hers. As some red chakra will leak, as Naruto will say, What's this chakra? Is this the nine cells chakra? And it will break her out of the Genjutsu. As they can, as they every everybody notices that um, Naruto has now broken her out of the Genjutsu. And it says, "Thank you, Mister." 
No, I told Nas this. He didn't tell them his name because he knew that the the especially the uh, people at the hospital really didn't like him because of the incident. He doesn't know what the, he knew of the nine tails incident, but he um and well he actually he has he knows that they call, they blame him for that. So he knew that the people at the hospital blame him the most. Well, somewhat of the most, since the, besides the people who lost people during that attack. Because they might refuse to um, help easily, as he learned that that's her name. So, Naruto would then um, leave, as he would tell Sasuke, well, do you know what time it is? As Sasuke would say, well... It's uh, a little bit after time school normally releases this now until says, dang, guess I miss school. As he thinks, as he remembers that Shikamaru and Hinata know that he's, um, probably think that he's at the volcano again. As he goes to the training, to the force of death and goes inside of there, inside the volcano. <clears throat> well, to the volcano entrance where he sees Shikamaru and Hinata. Says, Shikamaru and Hinata, is, they say, Naruto, what are you, I thought you were in a volcano. Naruto says, well, no, I was actually, as he explains to them about the Uchiha incident, they say, well, Naruto, are you okay? Naruto says, yeah, I managed to save another one Uchiha besides Sasuke. I didn't get to save Sasuke, but I managed to save a, a girl, Uchiha. As, um, Shikamaru said, well, Naruto. That's quite, it's quite impressive. As we're going to time skip to the graduation exams. Where Naruto is now placed in um, number one. As he's gotten better. So, um, in those two years, he's gotten more eager to learn. So he's um easily picking up on subjects and stuff. But eventually becomes the rookie. the um, The number one rookie. As um, Naruto graduates, um, well, he graduates with the highest scores to ever be recorded at the academy. And his eruption style is um, like throughout the last three years, nobody has really wanted to fight him in a ninja two battle because not even a sensei is because of his eruption style. As one day Naruto almost killed a sensei due to it. As Naruto will leave the um, the academy because he knows tomorrow's team assignments. As he will say, well, I might as well visit the old man. I haven't seen him in like three years. As Naruto will go and visit the Hokage. He will knock and uh, on a window. As, this, as the Hokage will say, Come, um, will turn around. As Ambu will appear right beside Naruto. As Naruto will say, you might want to remove your weapons unless you want to die. As his fists are into two, as um he has some two fingers, and he has a finger into two ambu, like into their guts, and well into their stomach. As he and turns around and sees Mato, he says, "Oh, stand down." They all uh, um stand down as Naruto does too. As he's and the Hokage tells them that they can leave. They leave and Naruto and the Hokage talk. And Naruto, as Ruzin would ask Naruto, Hey, what is that special ability of yours? And Naruto would say, Well, I actually don't know. Well, I'm, I'm just kidding, no man. You know, it's called um the Russian style, but apparently only he says the Russian style. He says, will you let me finish? Apparently, only I know it. He says, I've researched it and everything. No one knows what this style of jutsu is. He says, well, Naruto, you might have just discovered a new one. He says, but no, there have been like five users before me. He says, what? He says, As Naruto would do the, undo the transformation jutsu on his back and a dry scroll will appear. As it will show the images of all the people who have had it before him. As he was doing it like, is this what they look like when they were, when they were it? He says, no, this is what they look like when they die. He says, but they look so young. 
He says, well, to think about it, I don't really understand it, but in the scroll, where I try, where I learned to use the Russian style, it says the person of the Russian style kind of stops aging. It doesn't even age um, when they die. And um, he was like, well, Naruto, this is, this might seem a little bit dangerous. As uh, he was just starts to contemplate, as he says, "Well, Naruto, do you want to? I was going to have you put on a three, a uh, four man team with the uh, Joni Sensei." And Naruto would say, "Well, who is it?" As he would say, "Well, it was going to be Sakura Haruno, um, Sasuke Uchiha with Kakashi Hatake." As Naruto would say, "Who's Kakashi?" As um, he was even called in Kakashi, as Naruto will recognize the hair and says, Oh, you. Who's, yes, um. As Kakashi says, You know me? As Naruto says, Remember me from the Force of Death interest thing? He says, Oh, you're one of those kids. He says, But you, rec you recognize me? He says, Your hair. He says, Hey, kid, I've been meaning to ask you. Me and, um, Tenzo appeared into the, um, Appeared in the hospital. It said that our, it, um, they did analysis and it says our legs had been standing for hours. As um, Evil said, Do you know anything about that? As Naruto says, Oh, yeah, I did that. As he rules in, and Kakashi will be shocked. He was like, What do you mean? He says, Well, it's kind of hard to explain. But see, what I did was around you, it made it seem like, um, to your brain and everything, made it seem like a couple seconds has passed, but. In reality, a couple hours have passed. It's kind of one of the perks of eruption style. Which is why eruption style users don't age. It says, oh. And so I kind of casted it on you. That's that's how I like that. It says, oh. Well then. Except I, instead of you not aging and stuff, I just stuck you in place. Or like kind of like frozen you in time. As Naruto um, and Kakashi with me, as he, not, as he says, well, I heard you were going to be my sensei, my Joni sensei. Kakashi says, well, you're right. As he was says, well, actually, Naruto, I don't think you should be a part of a, that this is the power that only five other people besides you have wielded. And there's no feedback on it except from in, this, in those scrolls that you learned from. I'm think I'm not thinking about doing putting you in a two man, a three man squad. Well, but maybe a different squad. As Naruto says, "What well, can I pick?" As he says, "Yes." He says, "Well, I'm gonna need a strategist, and the, and the smartest person I know is Shikamaru." He says, "Ah." And um, besides the strategist, I would need someone with who could track people. So I want to say Hinata. And he says, I keep Kakashi as a sensei. Is he usually going to take this into consideration? He says, I think about this. If I can't come up with any better combinations, but that is a really good one. But if I can't come up with any better ones, then this will be your team. If not, then you'll most likely be on a um, two man squad with the Joni, with the um, Randall Joni sensei, or Elite Joni. As Naruto would say, well, it I don't it doesn't matter anyway, but the more logical choice would be the one the team I recommend it. And she was in with Nada, Naruto and Kakashi will leave. As Naruto and Kakashi are walking around, he would say so. Why you look so so depressed as Kakashi would um be uh was standing but and would do that. We would wave his hand he would be like, I'm not depressed. He says, you look like it. He says, and Naruto will put his hand on him. And he says, and would um, sift through Kakashi's memories. As um, he would say, so, you lost so many people. And Naruto only looked through the memories of the death of, of the people he, who has died in Kakashi's life. You lost your sensei. 
your teammates and your father. I'm so sorry for you. That's because she'd be like, how could you? And that's just says, when I place my hand on your um head, I kind of, it's kind of like interrogation. I only, only, but I only look for people who died. So, you were the fourth Okage student. She, as um, Kakashi would say, yeah. And just said, see, that's why it's even better to have you as, as a sensei. He says, I can't think of anybody more logical. Or maybe if we stand up Finanza, we could do Sasuke, but no. Or instead of Shikamaru with Sasuke, but two dope jutsus, no, nah, that wouldn't work. As Kakashi would say, well, do you, um, he says, well, do you want to train? As Naruto would say, sure. But if I win, you will teach me a jutsu. As Kakashi would be like, fine. As um, Kakashi and Naruto would start a spar. As Naruto would beat Kakashi and tie jutsu. And would not be and Kakashi would not be able to put Naruto under a genjutsu. As um it's now to a ninjutsu battle. As Naruto um as Kakashi throws a fireball at Naruto. Well um makes a fireball to throw it at um to um hit Naruto. As Naruto would do some hand signs that Kakashi's never seen seen. And Naruto would say Russian style volcanic ash. As Naruto would spew out ash, but this volcanic ash is really hot. I've heard, I believe. So Kakashi kind of um, says this, as he feels it burning off, and so, Kakashi then does a substitution jutsu. He says, "Wow, that's a really powerful jutsu." And she would then um, do a um, red style jutsu. His Naruto saying, "Red style has no effect on my um, on my eruption style." His Naruto would say, "Summoning jutsu, dormant volcano." And this is a, a variant of the erosion style dormant volcano. This is the type is you're like ser- literally taking it from the place that it was at and replace and um summoning it right where you're at. As the wind would hit the volcano, as not as Naruto would desummon it. So it's like the place that okay. So the volcano switched places with the part of land that um that where it was summoned to it. And Naruto say, well, Kakashi Sensei, I guess this is over. And Naruto will say, Eruption style, Lava River. As he will smack his hand down on the um, ground as a river of lava will start to form. Kakashi will jump up in the air as this is exactly what Naruto wants. As Naruto would um, say, eruption style, destruction. As he would then hit Kakashi, he says, um, as in the stomach, as he would say, Kakashi, if, if you don't give up, your entire body would become a, uh, um, you would will explode like a volcano, spewing out at, um lava and everything. Kakashi says, well, good job, Naruto. Guess I give up. As Naruto points at the... Tr- as Naruto takes his hand off Kakashi and puts it on a tree and releases chakra, which which the tree then erupts. As Kakashi says, well, you weren't lying. Naruto says, I have no reason to lie about that. It's not my most um, promising jutsu, but it's still quite strong. Kakashi, she would say, well, I don't really know any jutsu you want to learn. As Naruto says, what about fi- that fire style jutsu? You say, well, you would need you would need good chakra control. As Naruto says, well, I have your perfect chakra control. She says, what do you mean? He says, well, in those two years I was gone, I was kind of training, and I had to learn to walk on, on um lava and uh, magma and stuff. So you need near perfect chakra control, like really close to perfect chakra control to do that. 
And Kakashi would be like, well, well, then I guess I'll teach it to you. As Kakashi would teach Naruto to fire start Jutsu, but instead of a fireball coming out, it's like, um, it's like a giant volcano would appear on in Nar on Naruto's hands as it would shoot up lava. As it, as Naruto could see about the tiny volcano. Well it's about um isn't it's like it's like as big as his hand. Is it um he can tell that it's about to erupt as he aims it at a tree as it shoots out of um um as out of like a lava ball type thing. As well, Naruto. I guess you've learned a new ability. Naruto will say, yeah, I guess I can't use any jutsu. He says, oh, this sucks. He says, well, Naruto, maybe you just can't use elemental jutsu. But you said, so, the third Hokage has told me about your, well, I heard your conversation about the, um, your type of jutsu. You said, nobody knows what it is, right? Naruto says, yeah. He says, well. If no one knows what it is, then this must be a combination of a lava style and another jutsu. Naruto says, maybe, but we'll never know. He says, well, maybe we should find out. As, um, after, um, after that day, they will soon find out that Naruto, that the Russian style is lava style and scorch style combined. And Naruto said, I remember reading this. I can't believe I forgot that. Gosh, he would face would do that disappointed thing. But like, oh. So we wasted all this time just to find that out. As Naruto said, Well, Kakashi sensei, thank you. Kakashi would oh, not. And him and Naruto and him and Naruto will part ways for today. As Naruto will head home. And Rome up on the um he no, actually he would have to leave home again and go to another store to get some um instant ramen since all of his has expired. It expired a couple of years ago but Naruto hasn't been into them recently. His Naruto's walking by. Um he decides to go to the hospital to check on Izumi. As they tell him where room she's in, as, um, they say, well, she woke up a couple hours ago, but seeing it's kind of, st and it's like she can't get, call something off her mind. And as Naruto then goes to her room and walks in, and she says, you, you, you saved me. Naruto says, yeah, she would say, thank you. She says, do you, do you know why you were targeted? No, she says, well. The Uchiha, I've heard that the Uchiha clan was starting a coup d'etat. And they might have deployed, some somebody deployed the Shinobi to eradicate the Uchiha. But the man that I fought had a Sharingan. And also said, yeah, kind of, yeah, he kept, um, when I, um, fought him. I fought him enough off to where he backed off of for you. And I put you in that dormant volcano when Itachi came. Before, well, before Itachi came. As they tried to kill you, as they both tried to kill you. So there's no way Itachi is such a kind soul. I doubt he had, he probably has reason. Nanta says, maybe. We never, you'll never know until you if you ask the questions. So Nanta says, well, Itachi's little brother is alive. And he'll probably want to know. So... I'll come, you said, um, they said you'll be discharged from the hospital tomorrow, so I'll come and walk you personally to the Uchiha compound to Sasuke. As Izumi will not. Yes, this is when Naruto was sent some, um, was sent people surrounding them. Naruto says, hey. He will say, yes, he says, we're surrounded. He says, where do you want me? He says, here. As Naruto would then... Um, place Izumi in the same type of jutsu that he did to Kakashi and Yamato, except for Izumi. She's been, um, it's like, a um, how do I explain this? It's like, it looks like, to her, Izumi has still been there. But to everybody else, it's like she doesn't, she's never there. 
Because Naruto leaves the thing as um, some root Ambu and Danzo walk in and say, Kill the Uchiha girl. We must make sure that only Sasuke survives. Says it was Itachi's mission to complete to kill almost every to kill every Uchiha but Sasuke. As Izumi would hear this, as they would go and search the room and see that um, Izumi is not there, but Izumi has been there. She's been watching too, and she's been carefully moving around, trying to make to make some noise, so that she won't alert them of her presence, even though they can't see them. Do say Lord Donzo? She's not here. He says, "Damn it." Dan Hiruzen is always into my plans. He's always getting into my plans somehow. He must have told Itachi not to kill Izumi. As they leave and Izumi, um, as Naruto reappears, he says, Okay, you okay? She say, You can see me? And Naruto will say, Well, yeah. I, the, I casted the jutsu. She would say, What? What is this? And Naruto will say, Well... I kind of displaced you in time. It kind of did it. He says, what? Okay, so look. You're here. But you're like you're physically here and stuff. But to them, time is warping around you. So you're not. So it looks like you're not here. Like basically, um, let's say you were to punch a wall and put a dent in it. If that wall was to ever be repaired future in the future time then if I was to do that jutsu on that wall then it would show the future wall where it's fully repaired and she would say oh it's quite a unique jutsu and I would say yeah she says I learned something and she says what she says apparently Itachi was ordered it was a mission from Danzo for Itachi to kill the clan and she was Itachi was only supposed to leave da um, Sasuke alive so you know, just, so Donzo did this. Who's Donzo? As Izumi would um face palm say the man who just walked out, not just say, Oh, him. Seemed like quite nice quite nice guys. He was saying, You idiot, he just ordered the murder of my clan. As Izumi would hit uh Naruto on his head, he was saying, Oh As Naruto and Izumi um would sit down on the bed and he would say well, I'll place the jutsu on you for the rest of the night. It can't really di be dispelled unless I dispel it. Like, by touching you and removing it. He's let me thank him, man. She then lays down. As um, Naruto leaves and goes to get some instant ramen and we'll go back home. As he will wake up early the next day to go to Izumi and move the um remove the jutsu on her so that the doctors won't think that she just randomly left without um them knowing. And Naruto will wake up Izumi and say, Izumi. And says, he says, today's the day you get discharged. Hurry up and go to the front. There's, there's some nurses here. As Izumi would um, wake up and um get dressed and everything. And they would go to the front as she would um, be discharged. And Naruto would walk her to Sasuke. As Naruto would knock on Sasuke's house door, Sasuke would be like, would say, who is he? As he would see Izumi and say, Izumi. Hey, she says, and she hugs Sasuke and says, are you okay? She says, no. My brother killed our clan. We must kill him. As Naruto looks at Izumi, and Izumi looks back at him, as Naruto nods at Izumi. Izumi gets down on a knee and um, holds Sasuke's shoulder and says, Sasuke, there's something you should know. Sasuke says, yes. Well, it looks like someone ordered Itachi to kill our clan. And Sasuke says, who? He says, the Hokage? He says, no. Someone worse. As Sasuke will say, who then? Who say one of the elders, Danzo. Itachi was only supposed to leave you alive, but if it wasn't for Naruto, they tried to come and kill me. But but since Naruto had saved me and did a jutsu on me, they weren't able to see me and kill me. And Sasuke thanks Naruto again and says, "You really have 
save my clan twice. If Naruto not says it's okay, Sasuke. I don't know how I feel if my clan was wiped out either. As Naruto, um, Izumi and Sasuke will leave. As Naruto will walk Izumi and Sasuke to the Okage's office. As they demand answers. As Naruto um, will wait outside. As he can hear Izumi and Hiruzen and Sasuke talking. And Hiruzen says, so you know about the mission. He says, well... I've had no part in it. It's tough for the a part that I was supposed to protect Sasuke in case Donzo, um, in case somebody tried to go after Sasuke, since he is the last one of the last remaining Kuchiha. But when I learned that you were alive, Izumi, I was kind of happy. He says, "So you, did you know the mission?" He says, "Yes." I wasn't told until it was already till after about the mission. Now I couldn't do anything because of the other council members have outweighed my vote. As Izumi slams her hand on the desk and says, Damn it, Hiruzen! You are the Hokage! Why do you even need an elder council? As Hiruzen will say, I am the Hokage, but the vote matters. As, um, as Sasuke would awaken his Sharingan, he was, as he would angrily say, You know, if you would have just had some balls, you could have stopped this. Sasuke doesn't blame Hiruzen because Hiruzen really couldn't do anything. And, um, as Hiruzen says, well, Izumi, since you are alive and you are the el older Uchiha, we're, the Uchiha clan needs a clan head. He says, the best Sasuke wants that, but... He's too young now, so for now, you will be the clan head. He's going to say, I guess so. As Izumi is um, now been placed under special tuning so that she's always protected by um, Hiruz and Zambu. So Naruto and Hiruz and well, I mean, so, not Naruto, Hiruzen. So, Hiruzen will hold a council meeting that night. Where he will show them, um, as he will bring in Izumi and say, as due to the Uchiha massacre, we have two survivors, well, three. Itachi, Izumi, and Sasuke. As Danzo will be like, Izumi. She, as, um, Izumi will walk in. Danzo will say, but there's no way we come that entire hospital that floor the room that they said she was in there's no way she could have since she was discharged this morning and came and something came to my attention but since she's in Uchiha she has and one of the old the oldest Uchiha here she has she has now been appointed to clan head and for my elder councils as he would look at Donzo um and his two teammates he would say you two, you three are now relieved of your duties. They will say, you can't do this. We're the council, as, as he was going to say, I'm the Hokage. If you don't do this now, I will ban you as traitors and have you killed on the spot. And that was says, he doesn't. You really think that you can do something like this? She was going to say, well, yes. This is the best decision for the village. Without you three being on the council, the village will be much more peaceful. It says, but the second Hokage employed this, this program, as he was able to say, screw that. You two have screwed. You three have screwed around with the leaf too much. I will be disbanding the this council. But the civilian shinobi council, those type, the the um hidden leaf council. There will be no more elder council members. So goodbye. As he would have the Ambu escort all of them off. So 
the other clan heads will wreck up, uh, would um, crucialize with Izumi. Since he is the new clan head. And this is, um... I just did a whole three year time skip and said it just fit, really fit, just finally figured out that easing, I woke easing me up three years later. So, alright. Well, because Itachi said that his Genjutsu can be broken by, like, can only be broken by Sasuke if he was to get the Mangeki of Sharingan. Or maybe a Tail Beast. He never stated that, but the Tail Beast probably could get out of the Genjutsu. So this is actually where I'm going to end the what if all guys. Hope you have a good day. Peace and goodbye.